Hey, Crossword fans. Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 19th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across printer paper problems. It's got to be jams, right? All right, I like to build off of answers we already have. So let's try the downs here. Ballet leap. Ooh, um, I don't really know ballet terms very well. Is there a jeté? I want to say maybe there is. Um, hmm, I, that's a kind of a guess though. Let's see if we can confirm it. Wax wrapped cheese. That could be Edom, maybe. That's a kind of cheese, I think. Love or hate. Love and hate are both examples of emotions. Could be emotion. What's two down here? Madam, I'm blank. Palindromic greeting. That's Madam, I'm Adam. Yep, a palindrome is the same forwards as it is backwards. So you could flip that around. It would still read Madam, I'm Adam. Relative of a great white. Ooh. Um, I think another shark is Mako. I think there's a Mako shark, right? A great white is a shark. Let's take a look at this first long answer here. This is probably our first theme answer. Summary quip part one. Um, hmm, okay, it looks like we have a quip theme. That just means it's gonna be a long quotation that goes from long answer to long answer and then we'll get the full quote once we get them all filled in. Um, so these are kind of tough because they're just sort of a random quote and there's not really any way to deduce what they're gonna be before you get a lot of crossing help. So let's just proceed with filling in a bunch of downs and then maybe something will spark an idea and we can kind of get an idea of what the quote is gonna be. In love could be smitten. Puppy bites could be nips maybe, like they're nipping at your ankles. Decorates with bathroom tissue as in a Halloween prank. Yes, that's definitely TPs. Breakfast items in a toaster. Is it Eggos, like the waffles? Okay, we've got taking so far. Hmm, okay. And I guess it's summery as in like the season of summer, right? So maybe we should be thinking summer vibes somehow. Um, yeah. Doesn't help that much, but maybe it's something to keep in mind. Respected person in a tribe? That should be an elder. Way overcharged could be gouge. If you're gouged, you pay way too much. Money you have to pay back is a loan. Total flop could be a dud, kind of like a bad movie or something. What's all about me, me, me? That's your ego, right? Okay. Man, we've got all this, and I'm still not sure what it's going to be. Taking a something? What is that last word? Kingly or queenly? That should be regal, right? That's an adjective that means kind of a royal, right? Okay, so it's taking a dog. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I still have no idea what this quip is going to be about. Pinnacles. Um, well, there's a couple of words that start with A that mean pinnacle. One is acme and one is apex. This is asking for pinnacles plural though, so it needs to be plural. That means it can't be acmes, right? Because acmes is only five letters, so I think it has to be apexes. That is a six letter plural there. And that gives us an X here. Let's see if we can build off of that. Encourage with sweet talk. Maybe that could be coax. Yeah, if you're trying to like coax a reluctant dog out of his carrier or something. Relaxation. Hmm, that goes along with our summary quip. I wonder what that's gonna be. Hmm. Relaxation. What blank is new? What else is new, right? Easter egg colorers. I guess that's just dyes. Maybe this is ease. Yeah, that's very summary. Hopefully we're all getting to be at ease a little bit this time of year. Oh, blank night Christmas song. That's oh, holy night. 
included in an email in brief should be CC'd, carbon copied. Oh, nice, okay. This is our first wordplay clue of the puzzle. You can tell it's a wordplay clue because it has this question mark at the end. So what you have to do with wordplay clues is kind of ignore the straightforward reading of the clue and try and find a pun in there somewhere. So large cat you shouldn't trust on a test. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what the straightforward reading of this would be, actually. This is kind of a weird one. Um, maybe it's like a cat that would be the answer to a question on a test here, but it looks like this answer is going to be cheetah, right? Because cheetah sounds like cheater. Yes, so you wouldn't want a cheater taking your test. Okay, that's kind of an unusual wordplay clue. But every once in a while, you do get ones that are kind of like homophone punny answers, and that's an example of that one. Okay, showy garden flower. Hmm, it starts with a P? Is it a peony? I don't really know flowers that well. I know peony is a flower. Let's see if this is an E. Musical note that's a step and a half below A. Hmm, well it's looking like something flat. A step and a half below A, what would that be? Uh, a half a step below A would be A flat, right? So would this be G flat then? I guess that would make sense, right? Let's see if that's right. Words with friends for one. Um, hmm. I mean, words with friends is a game, right? Is it a game app maybe? I haven't really seen this term before, but it sort of makes sense. Let's see if we can confirm that one too. Clean Air and Water Org. Yeah, that's probably the EPA, right? The Environmental Protection Agency. All right, I'm feeling okay about game app. Auto. That's just another word for a car, right? Okay. Coca-Cola soft drink brand. Um, is that Fresca? I think there's a Fresca soda, isn't there? Blank counseling, aid for job hunters. This gotta be career counseling. Okay, quip part two. All right, here's the second part of our quip, our summary quip. Taking a dog. Hmm, came? Is this gonna be a C? Catch in the act. Hmm. It seems like it should start with an N, maybe, like nab? Nab makes sense to me, but then taking a dog name? Maybe it's named. zippity do blank? Yeah, that's zippity do da That's from an old Disney movie, Song of the South. It's kind of not available to watch anymore for kind of cultural insensitivity reasons. Venture to declare. Um... Hmm. I don't know what this is going to be. I guess maybe it's dare say. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so it's not peony. Maybe it's pansy instead. That's also a flower, right? Um, taking a dog named... Hmm. Yeah, as you can see, it's really hard to get these. <laughs> Unless you somehow know what the quip is. Um, that almost never happens for me. Grandmothers informally. That could be Nana's. Consumer advocate Ralph. That's Ralph Nader. He wrote Unsafe at Any Speed about the car industry. Um, hmm, yeah, it's just, you know, it took every single, we had to cross every single letter up here, and it looks like we're going to have to do that again here. Geometric calculations. That could be areas. Um... Shark? Taking a dog named Shark. Okay, this is starting to make sense. Maybe it's about kind of a joke about if you took a dog named Shark to the beach. It looks like this maybe is our next theme answer down here. Um, and then you had to yell his name. <laughs> You'd be yelling Shark on a beach and that would probably cause a lot of disruption. Um, maybe it is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the end of it. Um, yeah, so this is probably shark. 
garment below a blouse could maybe be a skirt. Does that make sense? Opus Dei. Yeah, that's a Latin. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the translation of that. I think it's something in a church maybe you would hear. Liqueur flavor. Could it be pear? There's pear liqueur. What balloons do when you prick them with something 46 across? It's looking like this is going to be sharp and burst, right? Just based on the letters that we have in there. So when you prick them with something sharp, they burst. Yeah, okay. That's a little cross clue there. Issue a book or magazine. That should be publish. The Blank of Avon, Shakespeare. Um, well, Shakespeare's nickname was the Bard, right? So maybe he's the Bard of Avon. That would make sense. Little bit as of ointment. That could be a dab. A little dab will do ya. All right, I think we can probably safely fill in to the beach here. That just makes so much sense. Okay. Trio of Greek goddesses. That's the fates, right? We had one of the fates on the puzzle a couple of days ago. I forget what her name was. It started with an A, right? Didn't it, Goose? She was the one that cut the thread of your lifeline. Yeah, okay. Outstanding accomplishments could be feats. A portion could be a lot. That's another word for like divvying stuff up and handing it out. Yeah. Pizzazz could be elan. This is kind of a $10 word there. Elan means kind of doing something with flair with elan. Yeah. Vice President Gore and others. That was Al Gore, right? And when they say and others, that just means they want his first name pluralized because there's other people named Al also. So that'll be Al's. Aesthetic judgment could be taste. It's kind of your sensibility, right? Total bargain. Um, maybe that's a steal, right? If you got something really cheap, you could say it was a steal. Indian mega city, that's Delhi. This is the pound sign, but in social media, that's called a hashtag, right? Hashtag. Okay. Computer whiz. Hmm. Is that a techie? That makes sense to me. Okay. Old Russian ruler is a czar. You'll see it spelled with a TS like this more often, but they sometimes do it with a CZ too. So you have to watch out for that. We already had the T in there though. So it was definitely the TS version. Sandy Hugh, that could be Ekru. We just learned on yesterday's Sunday puzzle that Ekru is the color of unbleached linen. That's definitely got kind of a Sandy Hue to it. Native of Glasgow, e.g. Glasgow is a city in Scotland, right? So that would be a Scot. Opera solo is an aria. It's a very crosswordy word there. You see that all the time. Step on a ladder is a rung. Yeah, so what is this here? Penny or nickel? Yeah, those are both coins. All right, so we've got our last theme answer here. And this is DI. Makes me think we might have nailed what the last one is without getting any crossing help. That's pretty impressive considering how much crossing help we needed for the first two answers. We needed all of the crossing help in the first two. We only needed half in the third one, and we needed none in the last one. That's very interesting. Okay. So what did we say it was going to be? Taking a dog named Shark to the beach is a bad idea. Very nice. That was fun. Um, I guess it's not like a famous quote that anyone said. I think it's probably just something that was created for this puzzle, or maybe it's maybe it's kind of a joke that is pre-existing, but um, yeah, it kind of fits nicely as a quip puzzle. Generally, I'm not like a huge fan of quip puzzles, but this is a pretty funny joke though, so it's kind of fun. And I like that it's summer themed also as we're in the middle of July, so this is a pretty good one as far as quip puzzles go. All right, group of five to which is added and sometimes why. Those are the vowels, right? So that'd be A-E-I-O-U. Tanker from the Mideast. Um, is it an oiler? Like an oil tanker? That would kind of make sense. Oneness? Is that a union? 
Like when you're married, you're made one, you're in a union. Okay. Break one of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, that's sin. Boxer who floated like a butterfly, stung like a bee. Yep, that's Muhammad Ali. Help in wrongdoing. Um, that should be a bet, right? Oh, so it's not union. Interesting. So maybe it's unity instead. Yeah. Unity is probably a little better because it's like a state of being. Union is kind of like a noun. It's not really a state of being, so this is definitely a better answer. Okay. Writing, you might keep away from prying eyes. That would be a diary for sure. JetBlue or Delta are both airlines. Um, but when they say or Delta, they're asking for a singular. They're giving you two examples, but it's one or the other. So it's just a singular answer there. Keep an engine running without moving would be idle. Billy doesn't idle and neither should you. Um, like some advertising lights, I guess neon. Yeah, there's a lot of neon advertising lights. Has dinner, could be eats. All right, so it looks like we've finished it up here. Let's just make sure we have these acrosses right. Opening on a schedule is a slot, yeah. And scarce as hen's teeth. Ooh, I love that phrase. That's so evocative. It's a great way to end it. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Look at that, 200 day streak, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I've made 200 New York Times videos. Wow, it's gone by so fast. I hope you all have been enjoying the channel. I've really been enjoying making these, so if you all keep watching, I'll keep making them. And look at our time, 18, that's not too bad. It's not our quickest Monday time, but I think we were taking our time enjoying this quippy summary theme. Um, and also, you know, it does take a little bit longer to fill in quip themes just because there's really no way to kind of have an idea of what's going on until you get a lot of it already in. We had about maybe 60, 65% filled in by the time we kind of got an idea of what the rest should be. So that does take a little bit of extra time. Um, yeah, this was a nice puzzle. We got an example of a wordplay clue. That's nice, even though it's kind of an unusual style of wordplay clue. I liked Smitten a lot, that's cute. Dare Say is kind of fancy. And this quip ended up being really funny, so that ended up being a lot of fun. A dog named Shark. Is that like a boy named Sue? Yeah, definitely don't want to bring Shark to the beach. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this quippy summary themed puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.